food rules. Eat your dinner first, then dessert. That doesn't make sense for a PDA. It doesn't, it just doesn't make sense. All the food's going to be in the stomach in the end. And so the order that we do it in isn't going to make a difference. Now, a PDA, even a young, young child is going to know this and see through these constructs because they really are constructs. And as much as we might like to try and explain away why it's important to eat savory food first and then sweet food, it's just, it's, it's going back to seeing through things. And something that happens with demand avoidant people is that there will be a perception that we like to argue or that children are defiant or insubordinate or difficult because there will be an asking of so many questions and it comes across as challenging and it is challenging. However, there's a genuine curiosity there as well. We're trying to make sense of the situation in order to establish safety and to be able to engage with that practice. Eating our dinner first, then dessert, is not a matter of life or death. Remembering that the primal response for a PDA is, is this a matter of life or death? It's a demand and it's a compromise to my autonomy and agency. And if somebody tells me to eat my dinner first, then dessert, the first thing I wanna do is eat dessert. The first thing I wanna do is eat dessert and a lot of it.